So now we are going to discuss about vegetative propagation in plants. So this is a mode of uh, sexual reproduction that is observed in plants. Again it is uh, classified or grouped into two major types. One is natural that means which happens naturally in nature without the human intervention and artificial propagation. Artificial propagation. artificial propagation whereas this is the natural propagation. So in this vegetative propagation the plant is able to produce new plants or the young generation from any of its vegetative parts. So what are vegetative parts? Flower is the reproductive part. Flower consists of stamens and the carpel. These are the reproductive parts of a plant. But if a plant is able to reproduce either from its leaf or root or stem, you call it as a vegetative propagation. Now let us see in the natural uh, methods, if you see the leaves, vegetative propagation from leaves, which plant we see? Bryophyllum. If you observe the bryophyllum leaf, bryophyllum plants are grown in the houses as an indoor plant. So the bryophyllum it is a succulent plant that means which has got uh, water stored in its leaves. The leaves are very thick filled with water that is a bryophyllum. So the bryophyllum will have leaf buds on the edges of its leaf. So from these leaf buds we will observe small plants arise, roots and small leaves. If they come in contact with the ground there they get implanted the roots get planted in the soil and it grows into a separate plant. Otherwise, if you cut this small pot, the small plant with the roots and plant it in the soil, it will grow again. So, here the reproduction, the propagation is going on through its leaves. Example, bryophyllum. So, now let us look at the next one, stem. Vegetative propagation through stem. Certain plants like stolons and runners which have very weak stem. So stolons and runners they have weak stem. They run on the ground. So if their node of their stem if it comes in contact with the soil so there it produces roots. The stem of the runner plant is running on the ground. So wherever it touches the soil it is producing the roots. Suppose if the plant is cut here accidentally, naturally or someone cut that. So this part can individually grow into a new plant and it produces the other runner. In such a way it will propagate. So this is observed in stolons and runners. It is observed in plants like Wallacinaria and strawberry. So in these plants we see this kind of propagation through the stem. And we also observe the propagation through the stem in other cases like so we can write stolons and runners, bulb, corn and uh, tuber. Now let us see some examples for this. Tuber, potato. So stolons and runners, we can write valicinaria, strawberry. strawberry and bulb. What is an example for bulb? You can write onion is an example for bulb. You can write corn, colocasia. So these are the examples for the propagation through stem. So the next one a root. Propagation by the root. So this is observed in the roots of uh, dahlia. root of dahlia, radish and carrot. So these are the various methods of natural propagation in plants that is by leaves, by stem and by roots. Now let us see the other artificial methods of propagation, vegetative propagation. So there are different methods are developed in uh, artificial propagation that is for commercial uses that is 
we get so many benefits for a novelty for a difference we can grow plants with a uh, different features using these artificial propagation techniques now let us see what are those techniques